Welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. Morning Talk. Morning Talk with Lenora. Welcome to Hi, good morning. Good morning and welcome Lenora. to the Morning Talk with Lenora. Morning talk. It is Wednesday and it is March the 7th. I really struggle with that. I just don't know the date. <laughs> well, today I know I'm like done up. Well, this is one of those things that you say you're going to do when this happens, you're going to do this. Well, I said that I was going to do this, put this scarf on and wear my shades, which I have another pair that are kind of cat eye. Um, that I was going to do this when I got my convertible. I always wanted a convertible. But I, you know, it's about, it's the time of life right now is to do instead of when I'm going to do it. So I said, today I'm going to put on my convertible scarf and wrap it around my neck like they do in the movies so my hair won't fly off because I'm going to ride in my convertible with my top down. I haven't gotten it yet, but it was something if my mom's watching. She would remember I said when I turned 40, I was going to get a convertible. Well, 40's come and gone, and I'm well into my 50s. So um, it's not too late. But until then, I'm not going to waste the look. You know, so today I'm dressed in my convertible look. And this happened... Yesterday I had my treatment, so I didn't do a show. Um, so as I'm sitting in my recliner and I'm surrounded by a man getting blood transfusion, a woman there for her weekly chemotherapy, and me getting my IVIG treatment, and it is easy to get consumed by your surroundings. And, you know, because... Uh, it's kind of a serious deal. We're all there, and I personally get my IVG through a port that's implanted in my chest, so you kind of can look at the stuff and go, wow, you know, this is my life. But, you know, like a lot of things, I choose to rise above it. So I sit next to the window, and even though it was dreary and rainy yesterday, um, I still looked out and I still enjoyed it, even though it was freezing cold in there. Um, but I still enjoyed it. But what I was thinking that, you know what? I'm no ordinary girl. So why am I going to try to be? Why not live my life the way I want to live my life? I even broke up my good china to drink my tea out of. What am I saving it for? You know? So I broke it out. And it is well received by my tea. It is good. So, uh, uh, there are also other things that, you know, that not being just an ordinary girl, and because I'm not an ordinary girl, you know, I, I'm sitting in this infusion center receiving this treatment, and, you know, I... I can think about, oh, how my chronic illnesses and, um, you know, how bad I feel or, um, you know, I can really get all caught up in it. But um, you can't let your insides reflect your outsides. So one of the other things that I do is that I learned it in nursing school and this thing will be a Jonas Towery moment. Um, what I, le I learned in nursing school is that, you know, you cannot let your, f like if you're looking at a, um, a wound on a patient or whatever, you don't let it show in your face. Like, you know, you can't. That's very unprofessional. So you just have to be that professional and not show any emotions in that manner. Well, when I was in nursing school, you know your phone always got to go off when you don't expect it. Anyway, when I was in nursing school, 
I learned, um, I, I had my first job, not nursing school, forgive me. When I graduated from nursing school, I had my first job at, at a teaching hospital. I told you I worked on the cancer unit. Well, I had a preceptor that they told me she wasn't nice, but I tried to block that out and just receive who she was. She was very stern. Um, she was actually from Sweden or Holland or someplace that was cold. So, <laughs> but they told me she was kind of mean. But anyway, I was, you know, I, I still went along. And so she was in charge of showing me the ropes. Well, one of the patients she had, he had throat and neck cancer. Okay, um, <coughs> excuse me. He had throat and neck cancer. Now, I knew I was on a cancer unit, so you know, but um, I still was a brand new nurse. So she took me to the patient. Um, he was a nice guy. He had uh, been in a kind of like a law enforcement or something like that. And now he had this cancer. Well, it's different when you're in a classroom and when you're like reading stuff. When I walked in the room, his cancer had progressed and he didn't have a nose. No nose. So I had to, under her instructions, my preceptor, to clean out the area where there was still the cartilage and everything, like the nares, that was there, just no skin to cover it. And his, you know, he used to be a big guy, so the disease had really kind of shrunk his head and his neck. And so I had to take Q-tips and clean out his nose. And I was frightened to death. I wasn't frightened of him. I wasn't frightened from what I saw. I was frightened that I was afraid I was going to hurt him. So, and he could tell I was shaking like a leaf. And he said, you're not going to hurt me. But I, that was, I was a very new nurse. So, <coughs> not very professional enough to cover my fear or to, you know, show my inexperience. So, what I learned is that I learned to remove myself from the situation. That, you know, you have to just go in and do your job and not let it affect you. Well, I kind of learned that. I kind of took those skills and brought it to my current life. And dealing with my illness, I um, removed myself from the situation. Sometimes I got the window. Lots of times I put on my headphones. Lots and lots of times. I actually, they're, they're uh, cordless. So I walk around the facility when I get my infusion. I go to the bathroom. I'm pushing my IV pole. I'm sitting in a recliner. You know, I'm playing on my phone or my iPad, but I'm listening to music the whole time. And yesterday, I stumbled on some Leela James. That girl got voice. And I am going to include a couple of songs. Um, the two of the songs that... Um, that, you know, caught my attention, and I'm going to include it in my um, information on this video, because it was like, uh, it made me feel good, and, you know, it, um, it took me out of my situation, you know, it was something that arose above, and y'all know I'm still drinking the sour sop, um, mm, it just does the thing, it just does, just does it for me right now, um, yeah, I don't know if y'all missed me because I didn't do it yesterday, but I wasn't here. Maybe I wasn't missed. But I'm, I'm back today, and I'm back because I'm just an ordinary girl. And I've decided that, you know what, sometimes you've got to tell people that. 
that, you know, not in an arrogant way, but you got to know your worth. And you have to know that what you, what you, what you should have, what is, what is um, expected of folks. Because I feel like this, if I'm bringing it to the table, then you need to bring it to the table. And that's in any situation. I respect you, respect me. But then some people don't realize that, you know, um, there's lots of rocks out there, but you know, there's some diamonds too. And just because a diamond might be a little cracked, have a little dust on it, it is no less a diamond. And as you well know, diamonds are real tough. Uh, <laughs> one of the strongest substances in the world. So, you know, they can put up and deal with a lot. So, I don't need to go any further and let you know what kind of, um, what kind of crystal element I am. Diamond. Yeah, I'm a diamond. And, um, so, I'm feeling that today. You know, it's that time where, you know, I have to be my own cheerleader. And um, I'm feeling that I'm right now, you don't even know I'm in my convertible. The top is down, my hair is tied down so it wouldn't fly. I got my glasses on. And before I um, sign off, because I cannot see in my shades, these are actually glasses that I could see in. But I'm going to have to put my shades on so you can really see how I'm riding. Oh, before I go, speaking of music. I know y'all feel them. I love my intro music. Hey, Jay, I'm Callie. I do. It puts you in the mood and I feel all nice. And, you know, um, I hope you feel in the same way. Um, I got to put on my shades. And one of these days, I'm going to connect with one of my new subscribers. She does makeup. And um, I may, um, you know, show some of her stuff because... You know, I was talking about I like that goal, and I watched one of her videos, and she did it. So I might you know, do something with that. Um, don't forget that I'm I'm a published author. My book is The Mirror Image of Me. It's on Kindle and Amazon, and maybe coming to a local store near you. Who knows? But I'm gonna sign off, and I'm gonna put on my shades so you can see just how fly I'm going to look in that car when I get it. Now you tell me, when I'm riding down the road looking like this, it don't matter who see me, you know, it's that, you know, I'm doing me. That's what's going to be important. So remember, I am just no ordinary girl, and neither are you. You have a great day, and hope to see you soon. This is Lenora saying goodbye and have a great day.